you guys. Today I have a book haul for you. I just decided to do this like two minutes ago when this, this, okay. Well, anyways, a giant box arrived on my door from Macmillan. Um, they sent me a gift box. Thank you so much, Macmillan. That was really cool. And you guys were awesome. I, if you don't know, um, you probably don't. I got a chance to go to the Macmillan offices in the Flatiron Building. I had a great time there. It was so cool seeing how the things work. I shot a video that will be up here soon. I shot it in like this really cool studio. I climbed out of a window to get to the roof of the Flatiron Building. That was pretty cool. Um, and yes, I did a lot of other fun things. So yeah, um, I will be unboxing this for you. But first, I wanted to show you a book that I just got. Um, <gasps> we made that 2.0 Renegade. Oh my gosh. It's hardcover and it's so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Look at it. Look at the pretty. It's shiny. Pretty. Thank you so much, Aaron Fitzsimmons, for sending, for giving me this to me. That was really awesome. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't drop, don't drop, oh my gosh. Ugh, holy moly. Now, this thing is pretty big. Okay, and I am prepared, I have scissors. I have scissors. Okay, so let's do this. I, I only know one of the things that is in here. Wait, how, how am I gonna do this? I think I'm just gonna put this Oh gosh, whoa, camera got turned, okay. I think I'm just going to put this down here and do it from there. So, okay, I'll just like take the books out one at a time and show you, or whatever is in here, I don't really know. Okay, I'm so excited. The people at McMillan were so nice. Yeah, they were really awesome. Okay, I think I have to use scissors for that, too. Woo! How do I open this thing? Okay. One flap is open, and the other flap is open, too. Okay, wait. Fold, fold, fold. Ugh. Whoa, discombobulation. Okay, sorry the camera is going everywhere, but it is. Newspapers! Woo! Oh, yay! Newspapers! Oh my gosh. All oh, the books. So many things. So many things. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> nil! Yay! I have nil! So pretty! Oh my gosh! Yay! So actually this is, I got to, like, I got to go through the Henry Holt offices, like, place and choose some books. It's so pretty! Look at it! Oh my gosh. This is one of my most anticipated books for this year. And I'm so excited and happy to have it. Yay! Oh no, the pages are folded! Ah! Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, I also got Shadow and Bone, and yes, I've heard so many amazing things about this book, this series. And the third one, I believe, is Ruin and Rising, is coming out in six days, so yeah. I also got the second one, Siege and Storm. The covers are really cool. I like them. They're very cool. Okay, I got a cool little Trampian poster, which is from Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles series, which you should know because you should have already read them, because they are awesome sauce. That's the back. If you haven't read them, read them. They're pretty cool. It's, it's like a dystopian sci-fi fairy, ta uh -oh. fairy tale 
yeah, it's pretty awesome. I got Spirits Key by Edith Concone. Yes. I think this is magical realism. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. Delivery of Doom. Zorgo. Zorguchi Intergalactic Pizza. They said this was a pizza delivery in space. And that sounds very interesting. Um. Yay! A hardcover, a, a signed Scarlet. Yay! I have, I have a copy of Scarlet. But it is not signed, and they sent me a signed one. That is very awesome. Yay. I'm very happy. Which one's... Oh, okay, this one. Yay! So I don't know what I'll do with the other one. Maybe I'll, like, give it away or something. Okay. Um... Just a minute. God. No! A book cut folded in half! That is terrible! Okay. Firebug by... Uh, Lish McBride. Don't know anything about this, but the cover's pretty cool, so yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the book that was folded in half. That is very sad. I don't want that. The Book of Storms by Ruth Hatfield. Don't know anything about this one. Ooh, it says, his parents are gone, the trees are talking to him, and he must find the book of storms. Oh no, yes, they told me that this book is about, I think this guy can hear, or this girl can hear, God, um, he can hear everything, like all the living things. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. <coughs> Yay! Eleanor and Park. By Rainbow Roll, Ra Wow Ray Roll something, and I've heard that this is really good. Yes, and so many people have liked it, so I can't wait to read it. Um, the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Um, I think this is a fantasy. A defiant princess must find her destiny in a reborn world. Interesting. Kiss of Deception. Yay! A little eco flash drive. Fla uh, flash drive. See it? Wait, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the lighting is not very good. But it says eco on it, and it's really cool. From the Lunar Chronicles again, so we will see you in the next few episodes. Yee, more newspapers! My room is a mess now. Whatever. Okay. The Scandalhood Sister- Wait. Okay, I read that wrong. The Scandalous Sisterhood of Prick Willow Place. Yes. I don't really remember what this book is about, but- Cover is interesting. Makes it look like old miniatures. The Body in the Woods by April Henry. Um, this is like a it's a mystery, and the first book in April Henry's Point Last Scene Why a Mystery series puts readers in the middle of harrowing res rescues and crime scene investigations. Very good. Okay. Ooh, interesting. The Flat Iron. This is, that's where the Macmillan offices are. Let's see, are there any photos? Okay. Okay. Oh, that, there we go. See? You probably know, have seen this before, but that's what it looked like at the time. And I went up there. Like, to the, that was really cool. I will probably have a video up soon of me. Climbing out of the window. So, the Graham Clock Bridge. 
Graham Cracker Plot by Shelley Tugis. Interesting. Meet the hilarious, snappy, straight-talking Daisy Bauer in this debut novel with an outrageous caper you won't soon forget. There you go. Bad for you. The exposing the war on crime. I they said that um, McMillan people said that this was about uh, like parents blaming like blaming kids or something. Okay, bad for you asks this question and, and many more. It's not just about the things that modern parents fear, like violent video games, social media, and even dirty hands. Stuff in this book goes back centuries, all the way to Plato and his worries over the new technology of his time. The written word. Bad for you presents the facts, figures, and a whole lot more in eye-grabbing graphics to debunk the myths and give kids the power to prove there's nothing wrong with having fun or with being young. Interesting. And it has, like, some picture comic things in there. That's cool. And last but not least, Humans of New York by Brandon Stanton. I think he was at BEA. This book sounds really interesting. I've heard that it is about, um, this guy just takes photos of everything he sees in New York. And I think that'll be really cool. I really want to read this soon. And this cover is cool. It's, in, it's wrapped in plastic. You can't even see anything. Wow. Lots of books. Good thing I like reorganized my shelf and now I have some place to put them. Yay. So um, that was my Macmillan book haul. So yeah. Um, I will be doing a BEA book haul soon because I got a lot of books at BEA. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. And so those should be coming soon, hopefully, if nothing wrong happens. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to put these books on my shelves and clean up all this newspaper. And yes, good bye.